So today we're talking about hook sets. Hook sets are, uh, everybody loves them. I, mean, I love hook, setting a hook, everybody loves setting a hook. But over time I found out, uh, for me, setting a hook is, uh, is where I ran into a lot of problems. You know, like, like Todd, Todd and uh, David were here, and, and everybody talks about getting bites and, and how to catch fish, which is cool, but we always kind of miss on that one little deal about how to set the hook. And it, it came, this whole conversation came up because I, I, I was looking back at myself and, and when things are going good, when things are going good on the water and I'm making cuts, making classics, life is good, putting money in the bank, everything is great. The things we could talk about today, those were the things I'm doing. When I'm, when I'm not casting checks, not catching fish, things are not grooving, I look back on this list and that, these are things that I'm not doing. A good boat position is an is a easy one. Uh, rod position is something you can take care of. That's one of the issues that I've, I've messed up on. And uh, it costs you a lot of fish. Good boat position. Boat position is, is, a, is a big deal. It don't seem like it until you get caught and it costs you a fish. But keeping every, you know, just keeping the boat in good position, setting up on good, setting up on the cover the right way. You know, have you got a four horsepower trolling motor? You know, get on it, get the boat where it needs to be. Boat position is a big deal when, when fishing shallow. Just got to make sure you just make and and you know before you before you make a cast. You know, you're like, well, it's not really a good cast because I got to come over the log. Which if I'd have just went another six inches on my trolling motor, I could have came on the other side of the log. So. So it's a good boat position. Everything's good, right? So I take my frog and I see this cast, make my, make my skip, it's all good. And uh, start twitching it. Now remember, there's a student from Bass University that paid money to come listen to me talk with all my great tips in the boat with me. So I'm feeling good, right? Chest poked out, it's all good. Skip my frog in there, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. Fish comes up and bites it and I get down and go to crack on him and I hit him and my drag does, slips out on me. And it's like a three pound and it slips and I kind of hit him a little bit and he jumps off and he comes off. And uh, this all, my drag slips right after this dude tells me, I like you, I like your story. You know, I like your, I like your presentation. And uh, the, the, the tip that I had given, one of them was no drag, you know, tighten your drag down. Make sure you tighten it down. I didn't tighten it down cost me a three pounder in front of a student from the Bass University. I felt about this big, but it happens. But that, that's a big one, no drag. Just check it from time to time, uh, especially you know, if you're driving from here to Toledo to Rayburn on the road, that thing will get you and you never notice. So if I'm fishing duck seed, I'm not gonna wait as long. I'm gonna set the hook quicker and not wait as long as if I'm fishing a mat, a high driller, that long. So the thickness of the mat equals time. Here you see, you see three to one. So when he bites it, you know, we're on a clock. We're on a clock. And three o'clock may be the wrong number for me. Probably more 2.30 or so. Because I, I, I don't want to be right on the fish. You know what I'm saying? I want to be somewhere, you know, a little higher. So I got me a little slack I can put up on him. But I want to hit him, I want to hit him about here and then drive to like one o'clock. You know, I want, when I'm talking, when I'm talking about the base of my rod, not the tip. I want to hit him at about somewhere up in here, 2.30 or so, and drive to 1 o'clock, left foot, right shoulder, and reel. Unless he's a really big one, I'm reeling him. I'm reeling him, I'm reeling him. I'm either going to get him, I'm not fighting him. Either he's coming or I'm going to get him. I'm probably not even fighting him at the board because he's full of grass. I'm going to just grab the grass or get your butter to net him or whatever. But. I would not fight a frog fish in the grass. There's no reason to. It's like arguing with a three-year-old. I'm the grown up, you're the kid, you're going to sleep, lights out. You know what I mean? I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.